Okay guys, there's a lot of news about Halo Infinite, so without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Starting things off with The Hunter. So a lot of people have been saying that it confirms The Banished, but I honestly don't think it is at all because before Mega Bloks have gone to very far lengths to make the characters that they're supposed to be portrayed in the game, like the Banished for example, to look like the Banished from Halo Wars 2. So I don't think they would have just got their Halo 5 Hunter and put some red paint on it. I don't think they would have done that whatsoever and I don't think this is a placeholder because why didn't they just use a regular hunter then for a placeholder? So what I think it could be is a new hunter variant, like the one that comes to mind is the uh, aggro hunter. It'd be great to have a new hunter because they've just been the same really. Well actually no they haven't, that's a lie, but it'd be cool to have different variants like the aggro hunter. And for those of you who don't know, the aggro hunter is a hunter added in the Halo Reach Evolve mod. And there are also other Hunter variants in SPV3, so if you want to see some potential Hunter variants at a Halo Infinite, just look up those two mods. Next we have a leak, so before I just talk about this, take this with a bit of a grain of salt because it is coming from uh, 4chan. The article says that Halo Infinite will have a huge open world with optional exploration, which probably means it's going to be a open world, hub world thing, like Destiny 2, or, well, both Destinies, I don't know why I said Destiny 2. If you want to play multiplayer, well, guess what? You've got to go through a convoluted open world, not just a simple UI. You want to play campaign, convoluted open world for you. It also says it's going to be more ambitious than other campaigns, not the usual six to nine hour, which I just think is buzzworlds. However, the not the usual six to nine hour. That that's probably means a larger story, which is great. The more the better and they are also saying they're going in very bold direction for the multiplayer and that could mean one or two things well maybe a couple more than two yeah one or two it's that they're either a following another trend like battle royale or hero shooters even or they're going to revert back to classic gameplay or even halo 4 and reach gameplay onto more leaks and two leakers by the names of Brad Sams and Tim Dogs have said that there will be not one but two shows, trailer E3 type things related to the Xbox Series X. The first show, which was going to happen in April but got delayed due to circumstances I shall not name it due to the YouTube algorithm, was pushed back to May. This show was going to talk about the Xbox Series X's hardware and its capabilities, though in terms of Halo Infinite news we would have probably got a cutscene and maybe like a snippet in a montage of uh, footage of games and trailers and all sorts of stuff. Now the second event is Microsoft's replacement for E3 because E3 is cancelled so they have to host their own event if they want to show off all their games and stuff. Obviously Halo is going to be there, it was there for the last two years, hopefully this time it's a gameplay. Okay, before you go, check out this video on the right if you enjoy conspiracy theories and theories in general about Halo Infinite and its story, then check out that video. It's my theory on the banish relating to Halo Infinite and whether they'll be involved or not. 